you guys can see them. Hey, what's going on everybody? Here inside my fish room today. If you're fans of fish videos, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. So today we're in the fish room. That's the Malawi Hawk tank. We got some things that I want to do inside here uh, because this tank, we gotta do something with this, actually with these fish. Um, and also, if you guys remember the pond, you guys remember the pond that I have inside my shop? Got some fish in there we need to check out. Lots of good stuff. But first of all, let's take a look at the Malawi Hawk breeding group. All right, here is the breeding group. There is the gorgeous male with all his ladies in here. Um, I uh, got this guy going, a little uh, DIY skimmer. Saw Joey do this, King of DIY. So shout out to Joey for that. Definitely helped pull all the scum off the top. Look at that guy, gorgeous. So now let's go ahead and come over here and take a look at this tank. Glass is dirty, do need to clean it. But we got a bunch of Malawi Hawks and a couple Compressiceps eye biters in here. These guys are ranging from, that's the smallest one in here probably, right there. Um, I'd say between two and maybe four inches. That guy's four inches or so. But I want to get these guys into the pond because I want them to grow out quicker so I can free up some tank space. Hey, you guys got to check this out. This is one of the Bucochromis lepturus green that I pulled out from the pond earlier in the week. This guy's beautiful. This one is going to James Largo, going to my buddy for his aquarium. He doesn't have a lepturus green, so he's getting this male that I raised from an egg. Super awesome. Uh, this guy's probably six inches, maybe a little bit bigger than six inches, and got a long way to go, but very nice color for its size. Um, let's see if I could turn this light on. I gotta actually come over here and slip that so it goes on. Now that's his father right there. Now this guy is insanely massive. Insanely massive. It's incredible and there's one of the females, but I wanna to try to, there you go, look, look at this. He is at least 12 inches or really close to it. I mean, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell with fish, but this guy is awesome. Not as colored up as his son is, uh, probably because it's a small confined space and dark, but we got the sponge filters on each side so that these fish are gonna be just fine. They got water changes every day, sponge filters on each side. This is because I'm building this group back up because I lost some females. So one of the things we're gonna do to make our life easier pulling these fish we're gonna go ahead and get the tank drained. So I got my uh, spa pump system on. Let's come on over here. So back over here is my electrical panel. If you guys could see that right there. Flip that switch on and you can see the water level there. Definitely going down, which is exactly what we want. Definitely gotta clean this glass. Glass is horrible. Having the spa pump is definitely awesome. You can see, I mean, it's pulling water out at a nice rate, um, exactly what I wanted to do. So let's get this thing drained. Tank about halfway drained, still filtering, which is good. So we can catch these guys much, much easier. We're gonna use this big boy and that net up there. All right, so we're at the pond. What we're gonna do is go ahead and unplug the pump here so we can, uh, see the fish much easier. Looks like they're just chilling down at the bottom for now. So let's go ahead and pull this off. I'm gonna put this guy up over there out of the way. Yeah, there we go, that'll work. Whoa, what the heck is that? All right, you guys, look at this. Look at the size of that guy right there. Whoo! Wow! Man, oh man. So let's pull the greens out because we need to find out which ones are male. All right, we got our nice big net here to try to get these guys out of here. Without this net, it's basically going to be impossible. So let's see here. Just got to be strategic. I mean, there we go. There's one of them. Take a quick peek at this guy. 
So I don't know if you guys remember how big they were when I first put them in there. So let's go ahead and pull this guy up. Definitely a small one. I'm not saying that that means it's a female, but you never know. So I'm going to try to keep it in here while I go and I strategically scoop them up. There we go. I got one of the big ones. Nice. This one had a bad eye. But as you can see, still, still good looking. Woo! So we got five of them right here. You guys can see them. Let's go put them in the tank inside the fish room. So these guys are going to go into this tank for now. Basically just a holdover tank until we get them into a bigger tank. All right, here we go. Incoming. Oops, come on now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Sorry, guys. There you go. Come on. There you go. Again, they're just in here temporarily. Here's two more. Oops, come on. There you go. Two more. Yes, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Man, that was tough. Look at the size of this dude. There we go. Wow, much bigger than when I had them before. Okay. There we go. So we gotta hurry and put this lid back on. All right, very cool. All right, everyone. So here are the Lepturus green that I pulled out of the tub. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15 of them, I think. So here's a male, obviously. And there's another male right over there. Um, this guy's a male, but his eyes all jacked up. And then we got the rest of them who aren't quite showing signs yet. Now, the reason why it's going to take a little time and I'll vent these bigger ones is because that's a female look she's got yellow on the top of her fins she's got that little bit of a green through her body egg spots this is a female 100 percent female so as you can see with these ones having the yellow on the top that one down there yellow on the top and egg spots that does not mean it's a male because we just checked out that other one so these guys need to go into here Right, there you go guys got them all caught inside the big net so now we get them to the pond all right here we go there you guys go so let's go ahead and let them go into the pond there you go oh man There's one down there that's stressed, but they'll, they'll be okay once they de-stress themselves. Um, but I got to do an actual physical water change to get some of this detritus and stuff out of here. But um, I have a feeling this is going to work out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and plug the bad boy in. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, you guys, let's catch them and put them in the big tank. everyone don't mind the water being cloudy like I said I did clean this up so it's gonna be a little bit cloudy 
but let's go ahead and take a look. So here is a nice male. His eye got a little hit from trying to catch him, but he'll be good with the clean water. But that's one male right there, really nice. That's the other one, but that's got the messed up eye. But yeah, this guy right here is beautiful. Beautiful male Lepturus green, F1. And then we got all of these other ones that are still undetermined. But uh, yeah, gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm hoping they're gonna grow in here as well. Probably not as fast as the pond because it's not as much stuff. But um, I'm gonna be wanting to sell this guy. And if someone wants to take the one with the bad eye at a discount, I'll sell that. Actually, this might be a male. Maybe, 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 we'll see. But uh, any males that end up showing down the road, those will be for sale as well. That was a lot of work to get all that done, everybody, but we got it done. Lepturus Green are inside the 125 here in the fish room. Two males for sure, one's got a bad eye. Uh, so we got that one male, and then there's a bunch that are too hard to tell still. Um, I'll vent them as they get a little bit bigger and hope to build a new breeding group um, with these guys over here. Ba -ba -ba, over there. But yeah, it's gonna be awesome, everybody. Once they get bigger, these guys are looking fantastic. Look at the male. He's down over there in that corner somewhere. Can't really see him right now, but looking awesome. Uh, really excited uh, about getting that moved and bringing you guys a freshwater video. I know uh, I haven't brought a freshwater video in some time, and uh, I know that uh, there's quite a bit of you who definitely wanted to see some uh, cichlid videos. So we got that done for you guys. Got some cichlid videos in the works. So anyway, if you guys like fish videos, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. You guys all know I appreciate you guys. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the video, of the Lepturus screen, and what the fish in the pond, the Christie eye and those couple eye biters, uh, how fast do you think they're gonna grow and all that stuff out in the pond. So got a lot of things happening in here. So. Also, little preview, we're gonna have some more videos coming up. We're gonna be doing an update on the red Bulu coin. And then on the salt side, we got some more videos coming up. It's gonna be awesome. Hope you guys can consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Beard gang, thanks a lot. Stay tanked.